So Vince, do you think mortgage professionals should use real estate as a large portion of their retirement vehicle? Probably. Yeah, I'm not I'm not opposed to this idea. I actually think it's, it's good idea. I, I think it's a good idea. Again, listen, as you know, you you're a financial advisor. You've advised a lot of people about this. Yeah. A lot of it kind of depends on where you are in your, you know, life cycle, how uh, but uh, in general, in general, yeah, I think certainly uh, mortgage professionals ought to be looking at real estate as a good place to put their money and to make money with. Yeah. And I, I, and the there's a generalization but mortgage professionals, they know good deals. Um, they look at bad deals all the time. They look at good deals. They're going through a lot of transactions. They generally speaking know the direction of the market if they're doing a decent amount of business. Um, so yeah, these are, this is, I think, why I've seen a lot of successful originators use real estate as a, uh, a store of value and also a place to, to create retirement income. Okay, and you're right that there are an awful lot of people who are in mortgages that understand real estate. They've been in it for a while. They've paid some attention. I caution, however, yeah, <laughs> you know I always do, I caution against people sort of hearing this, people in the industry hearing this, and then going, oh, I ought to get into this. Now, listen, just because you happen to know how to put together you know, a loan application doesn't mean that you are suddenly a, a real estate seer. Right. It does not mean that all of a sudden you have figured out how to buy investment properties right. and get the most out of them. So don't disagree at all. I worry sometimes when people go, I'm in mortgages. I'm, I'm good for this. I can I can get this real estate. Hey, is a great way to build wealth. You invest poorly. You invest at the wrong time. You, you haven't done your homework. And all of a sudden it is a great path to poverty as well. Yeah. Yeah. And the, other, the other thing also, of course, in the mortgage industry, um, if your in income is down, it could potentially mean that values might be down at that time too. Like in, in, in 2008, so a lot of, uh, a lot of mortgage professionals uh, where they had a lot of their assets in real estate, a lot of their wealth in real estate, and their income was down and also yeah. their assets were down at that time too. And that causes them a problem if they're have to bolster their their stuff, but yeah. this is actually a very good uh, point for me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Because I mean, the welcome. reverse of this is right now, where guess what? A lot of real estate professionals, their income is down, yeah. but the market for real estate and investment properties is up. So you can't say you know one thing does one thing and another thing does another. Uh, I think it can be great if your income's down to suddenly say, hey, I've got rents, you know, I've got capital being acquired here. Um, th that's terrific if you are paying attention to this stuff and manage it correctly, because I think that's the critical thing. 100%. Yeah. So know, we're, your numbers. We're, know your numbers. Know your numbers. So on this one here, I, I think uh, I win. Uh, no, no, I, I am absolutely no, correct. No, I have said that, no, uh, yeah, uh, real estate you, is a good you investment. Agreed with me. And it is. You agreed with me. I made the that's statement. That means that I win. win. You agreed with me. I'm right again as usual. For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to nationalmortgageprofessional.com.